So it is about 9.30 a.m. and we are here at Parliament Hill, Ottawa. Just standing in front of the House and Commons. That's what's behind me there, as you can see. And we're just, we've got our signs here and we're just letting the government know that we are not impressed with what they're doing. So we're gonna sit here for the day and uh, welcome each member and let them know what we're thinking. We've got our signage here. We are here with another protester who is uh, the gentleman that you saw earlier that's trying to bring his family back from Afghan. He was an interpreter there for many years, helping the Canadian government. And now, as to be expected, they have just left him to hang and dry and his family over in Afghanistan getting punished for his actions of helping Canadians. So hopefully Sean Frazier will get off his ass and help this guy's family. He certainly deserves it after everything he's risked. And uh, yeah, welcome. So let's just switch the camera around and show you the view. Female. Where? Is it that guy there in the gray suit? Hey, Sean Frazier, are you gonna help this guy? He, he needs help. He deserves it. He's gonna be here for the rest of the next two weeks, starving himself so you'll help. So here's this gentleman's sign for Sean Frazier. I'm not asking for special treatment for my family. I want the same rights that provided for 5,000 former Afghan interpreters and 40,000 Afghan refugees. Please save my family. He's here starting. Uh oh, this gentleman uh, has just passed out from starvation. This guy probably couldn't care less. Look at him. He actually criticized him. That guy in the suit there criticized him. Are you okay, sir? Do you need help? That gentleman just fell down hard, trying to get some help from our government. this injustice right as you see me the prime minister saw me last yes and i saw him last year he just keep lying he just told me last year there he sent me his assistant he got my document he says that he was gonna promise we're gonna help you and three days ago the sean fraser i saw him and he promised me they're gonna give you a call in a day to call you for an interview and I just, and I saw, when he saw you that you're making videos, and he said, hello, I'm gonna come to see you, but did you see, it? you're the witness, I haven't seen him till now. And he just keep lying. And uh, it's my, it's gonna be my third week, so I'm here. I left my home, my kids back in Bengur. I'm here, so it's, they are just, like I said, I, I was asking from the first day that I not ask for my, special treatment i just asked for my right i my family is burning because of me that i work and they just don't care that they they just care those people that they are rich or they are close to them or they have right for other people just, abdul. abdul i'm sorry about that so i'm just sitting here talking with abdul we're not putting them on camera for the safety of his family that's still in Afghanistan. For those of you who don't know, he was an interpreter for the Canadian military. Uh, I think he said 2008 till 2014? 2006 till 2011. Oh, sorry about that. 2006 to 2011, he was aiding the Canadian military and uh, was promised that they would help his get his family out of the Afghanistan and bring them over here. And now, if I'm correct, your brother and sister are still over there, right? Yeah and your niece yes. 
And you were mentioning your niece has had a acid thrown on her face. Yes. Horrific, absolutely horrific. So I don't know if you guys can help out by sending an email to Sean Fraser and we'll see what we can do about uh, getting this guy some help. We're gonna get him a chair this weekend and uh, next week, all week, we're gonna... And also I request if anyone listening to the news who is in living in Ottawa, please support me to come just for half an hour or 10 minutes, 20 minutes standing with me. That'd be much helpful. Yeah, absolutely. That would be a great thing. And I'll try to ask more of the uh, Freedom Fighters to come as well. Yes, please. So if anybody is watching live and uh, you are from Ottawa and can come here and stand with this gentleman next week and give him some help, then he, he definitely needs it. Like I always tell, tell you, find another human and see if you can help him. And this guy definitely could use some help. So... You got this. You got it, my friend. You got it.